Hey guys, it's Lucas, and in this video I'm going to be going over how you can set up AIO v2 on your Mac. So the first step is to search for AMB Help Desk, and then go to the AIO Bot Help Center. Now once on here, you want to search for Mac. And then go to the first entry. Once you're on here, you want to go down to uh, the Mac section, click on Window ISO, to, to, that's where you install it. Alright, once it's loaded, you want to select Windows 10, click Confirm, and then go to the language, select English, click Confirm. And then select the 64 bit. So I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it. And then the next step would be to go to the virtual box download link. Click on it. I'm also going to go ahead and cancel it as I already have it installed. Now that both softwares are downloaded, you're going to want to install them. So first thing you're going to need to do is let Apple know that you actually trust these two sources. So you're going to want to click on the Apple icon, go to System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy. Afterwards, you're going to want to select App Store and Identify Developers. In order to do that, you're going to want to unlock it first. And then select it. I already have it selected. Make sure it's App Store and Identified Developers. All right, lock it, leave, and now click on the virtualbox.dmg file that you already had installed. Click on the virtualbox.pkg file. Click on continue, continue again, install it, put your password. And then after I can install software, just wait for it to actually install. So here you see that I have the installation failed. Sometimes it'll show you that the installation succeeded, but if it doesn't, go to the Apple icon, go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and then you want to click on Allow. Sometimes they may block the apps for you. And as you can see here now, VirtualBox has now appeared on my screen. On the eject. Now that the VB is installed, you're going to want to go to search, search for virtual, click on virtual box. Once you're here, go to new. Just select any sort of name you want and then pick Windows 10 64 bits for the version. For memory, allocate at least 40, 4 gigs and I'm going to allocate 5, click on continue, continue again, allocate at least 50 gigabytes, once here, create. Before we run the virtual box, go to settings, go to advanced, make sure that shared clipboard is bi-directional, same thing for drag and drop. Afterwards, go to System, go to Processor, and make sure you have at least two CPUs allocated. Click OK. Afterwards, go to VirtualBox, go to Preferences, go to Display, and instead of Automatic, make sure it's None, then click OK. Now you're ready to start the virtual box. Remember the file that you had installed at the very beginning, the Windows file, where you, now you're going to want to look for it. I already have it saved on the desktop. Pick it. Okay. And go to click start. Now you have it running.
select the language. I'm gonna go ahead and select English. I click next. Click install now. Now you're gonna to wanna to give it some time for it to install. Click on next. Make sure you accept the license term, then click next. Select custom and then next. All right. Now once again you're gonna to want to give it some time for it to install. Now that Windows 10 is installed, you're gonna to have to install some drivers. First thing you're gonna to want to do is go to devices. Go to Insert Guest Editions. Now click on File Explorer. Go to this PC. Go to CD Drive Virtual Box Guest Editions. Click on that. Install the 64 bits. Click Yes. Go to next, next, install, give it a bit of time, click on install again. Now it's your virtual box is going to reboot after you click finish, now it's restarting. Now the drivers have been installed and the graphics and the resolution have been fixed. We can move on to the next step, which is to install Chrome. Search for Chrome download. Go to Google Chrome. Click on download Chrome. You can untick this if you want and go to accept and install. If the download process uh, gets stuck, you can always click on pause and resume. Then click on run. Click yes. You can now install AIO. So you're going to go ahead and download it using the download link. This is the same link that you can find in your purchase email as well. Alright, now once it's downloaded, click on it. Next, create a shortcut for it and then click next, install, finish. There you go, you have it installed. All you have to do now is get the activation key from your email and just activate the bot. See you.